What's up guys? Welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette, which I, for one, was super excited about. So I have the palette here. Super excited to talk about it today. I did use it um, for this look right here. So um, I will do this look as well as give you guys um, a little bit of a review on the palette, my thoughts, um, let you guys see it maybe do a swatch or two. So if you guys want to see everything about the new Fenty Beauty eyeshadow palette, then please keep watching. If you're a returning subscriber, then thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first time to this channel, welcome. If you enjoy this video today, please subscribe to my channel. It is free for an unlimited time only. Without further ado, let's get right into the video so we can talk about this palette. This is the palette. How beautiful. I'm obsessed with the packaging. The back of the palette has um, all of the color names listed, which is very helpful. Um, it does not have it inside the palette, but the fact that it has it on the back is nice. Just a few quick little details um, that you need to know about this palette. It retails for $59. You can purchase it either on the Sephora website or on the Fenty Beauty website. And of course, I will have all this information for you guys below in the description box per use. There is a mix of matte and shimmers, which let's just go ahead and show you that. So this is the inside of the palette. You do get a mix of matte shades and shimmer shades. Um, I love the color range in this palette. The more that I looked at it, I realized that there actually are quite a few cool tones. I really would consider, of course, all of these to be cool tones, but even these colors, it may not look like it um, in camera, but in person, um, these are cooler tone shades, like this brown and um, even these um, more pinkish red tones, I feel like are a little bit more on the cooler side versus what we have seen lately. So um, that really attracted me to it personally because I have so many many warm tone palettes, which of course I love and I wear on the daily, but it is nice to have um, some cooler, more unique tones hit the scene. I will do a few swatches for you guys really quick and then I will get right into the tutorial where I did this look. So here are just a few swatches um, from the palette. This of course is Evil Genie, which I'm obsessed with. A lot of people have been doing tutorials with this particular color. Um, so I did try to revert away from that today and use um, some other colors in the palette, but I do obviously love this color. I'm obsessed. Um, this color is Shisha Smoke which I am also obsessed with. Um, the next color is called Sahara Stunna, the pink shade, which I know you can't really see it on camera as well, but in person it's super pretty. It's got more of a gold metallic. Casablanca is this shade down here. Yes, right here. That is super pretty. And again, not showing up in camera as much, but it's got a really pretty, um, almost like a green teal reflect in it. So super beautiful as well. Let's get right into the tutorial where I create this look for you guys. To start off the eyeshadow, the first thing that I absolutely always do when I'm doing an eyeshadow look is I'm going to prime the lids. And of course I'm using my favorite Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. So it is so hard for me to try to figure out what I actually want to do with this palette. There are so many different options. Um, honestly, way more than I realized when I first bought this palette. Like there are so many different color combinations that I want to try. Um, I guess for today, I'm going to do like a maybe like a more like cool toned purple look. I think that would be really pretty. I'm gonna go in with that color Shisha Smoke now and that is going to be what I use in the crease. Another thing I do love about this palette is the big mirror. It's got a huge mirror back there which is really helpful when um, you're doing your eyeshadow. The shade I'm gonna use is this color right here called Spice Trip. And I'm going to use that in the crease as well, just to kind of add a little bit more dimension and warm it up just a little bit. I'm going to bring it a little lower though. I'm not going to go as far up as I did with the other shade. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take that down into the outer crease as well. Okay, so I want that color to come through a little bit deeper. So I am going to go in with this darker shade right here, which I believe is called Saffron. And I'm going to take that spicy color and put it exactly where I've put the other colors 
um, or the or the lighter pink color, I want to put that on top of that. I just need it to give me a little bit more. So we're going to use that beautiful color. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go in with this shade, Sahara Stunna now. Sahara Stunna. And I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. So I'm gonna take this shade right here, a super pretty shimmery metallic shade. It's called Moroccan Ice. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. Liner today is going to be Ciate, and this is called Fierce Flicks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put concealer on. I'm gonna use the Sephora Bright Future Serum Gel Concealum. Concealum? Concealum. <laughs> nah. So now that the center of my face is all brightened up, I am going to take the Hoola Quickie Contour, Quickie? Yeah, Quickie Contour Stick. So I put it, of course, on the cheekbones as usual. Right there. We'll go around the top, get rid of this eight head. And then we'll go down on the jawline. And I know it looks super orange at this point, but when we blend it in, hopefully, <laughs> it will blend out just fine. Okay, so now that we have done the liquid bronzer, the next thing I'm going to do is set that with a powder bronzer. And I'm going to be going in with my favorite of all time bronzer. It is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Can't forget the neck. And I am going to set the under eyes with some powder as well. So I'm going to use um, the Lara Mercer Shine Control Powder to do that. And I'm going to use the best brush I have found for this particular area of the face. This is the Mint Pear Rounded Soft Blend M64 brush. You can see that it's tapered off at the end, which really helps it to kind of like go flat and pack that powder into the skin versus just brushing it on the top where in a few hours, um, if you do get oily like I do, that is going to break up and look cakey. Um, what this does is it allows it to um, be pressed into the skin and it's also so like tiny which is amazing too and that's I think what was so hard for me to find was um, a brush like this of this size but um, like I said it's just gonna press that powder into the skin um, instead of having it more like brushed on and I think that is what helps it to really set it um, and to keep it there all day. Put that in the chin, and then just whoa, <laughs> and then just in the middle of the forehead up here. So and now I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Highlighter. This is um, one of their newer products as well, and this is in the combination Seven Day Weekend and Poolside. Um, so it's super cute. These are actually, they're technically, I guess, called foil highlighters, but you can use them as blush, eyeshadows, highlighters, um, even a lip topper. Like if you put a lipstick on and wanted more of a matte metallic um, look to, the, to your lips, you could um, just tap on this and put it on the lip gloss. Maybe I'll do that at the end if I remember. I probably won't, so don't even remember this. But I am actually going to use this color right here as a blush. I think this would be really pretty with this makeup look, so I'm going to use that as a blush. So as you can see, it's not super um, bright or out there, but it just gives a really beautiful, almost like a lavender pink shimmer to the skin, which I think is really beautiful, especially in summertime or the wintertime, you know, 
you know, any time of year. But now that we have set the under eyes, I'm gonna go back into the Moroccan Spice palette and I'm just going to finish off the eye look. So I'm gonna go um, under the lower lash line and just put a couple of colors under there. I think I'm gonna start with, again, this gray color over here. And then I think I am going to use this color and just put it over top of it just to add a little bit of um, sparkle. I think I'm actually going to focus it right in the middle of the lower lid though. There's a hair flying in the air right there. I love this sparkly color over that gray color. Like that would honestly be such a pretty look. I may have to do some more looks with this. Maybe I'll film another video with like two or three more looks with this palette because I'm loving every color in there. So to set the face, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I had this years ago and then I guess I ran out and didn't get more for a while and then I keep seeing people use it again so I remembered how great it was so I got some more of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Get in there. I am going to use, of course, my favorite, the Fenty Beauty Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal Duo to highlight the cheekbones. And then I'm going to take this smaller pencil brush and I'm going to use that to highlight um, just some other areas of my face that I like to highlight. So um, I'm going to do the Cupid's Bow. And then I'm gonna take this brush again and I'm gonna use the um, less sparkly shade and I'm gonna just highlight the brow bone with that. So for lips, I am going to start by lining my lips with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Sandstorm. And then for lipstick, I'm of course going to use a MAC Lippy because what else? That's what I always use. Um, this is the Formula Amplified, which is my favorite formula. And this is the shade Given. Of course, I have to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. So that completes this look and that completes my review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.